what is up you guys it is to my 45 here and in this video i'm gonna be doing something different here on my channel and i'm gonna be giving you guys a quick look and a preview of windows 8.1 enterprise edition on the lenovo g450 and just to prove to you guys that this is a lenovo g450 you guys can probably see here or not but hopefully you can my system model here is 20022 and yeah that's the system model for the Lenovo G450 and if you don't believe me you can go ahead and search on Google yourself and you will find out that it is and uh, yeah, I'm using a Intel Pentium dual core processor which is clocked at 2.1 gigahertz so yeah and I'm using DirectX 11 as of the date of this video and for my display here, I'm using a, a N NVIDIA GeForce G150M, which is made by NVIDIA, obviously. And the resolution of my screen is 1366, 1366 by 768. But I, I, I just edited this um, screen resolution for my desktop here to 1280 by 720 because it runs faster for some reason like that. And yeah. That's it guys, yeah, this is seriously a Lenovo G450, and uh, yeah, that's it. This is a real Lenovo G450, and yeah, that's it. And yeah, this is Windows 8.1 Enterprise Edition. This is the Enterprise Evaluation. It's a 90-day, it's a, nine, a free 90-day trial. It's a 90 day free trial and after 90 days you will have to activate it with a product here or something I guess. I'm not sure yet because I haven't been using this for 90 days yet. As you guys can probably see here it's only been, I still have 82 days left so yeah. And yeah guys this is real, this is really Windows 8 and I'll even go to my virtual panel here and show you guys. This is Windows 8. If I can just find it. Wait. Yes, guys, this is real, really Windows 8.1. And this is the Enterprise Edition. And this is a 32 bit operating system. So, yeah. And this is not a touch screen, which you probably knew already if you already came to this video at first or whatever. Anyways, yeah, and this is a 32 bit operating system as of the date of this video. And uh, yeah, this is real, really Windows 8.1 on the Lenovo G450. And you guys may be asking yourselves, how can you get this on your Lenovo G450? And I'll teach you how to do that right now. Okay, so uh, first, before you do this, you will need to make sure that one, you have a USB, two, that your USB has enough free space which has at least uh, two or three gigabytes of free memory and you have to make sure that you backed up all your data on your USB to your computer because during this process you will need to format your USB to download something and yeah you need to back up all your data on your USB somewhere else and you will need to Make sure you have at least two gigabytes, two or three gigabytes of free memory on your USB. And you will need to make sure that your computer on any of your hard drives has at least 12, has at least 20 to 30 gigabytes of free memory. Make sure that your hard drive does have enough memory to do that. If it doesn't, then you will need to make a new hard drive yourself. And to do that, you'll first need to want you'll first need to go into control panel and then go towards the system and security then scroll down to administrative tools and click where it says create and format hard disk partitions then from here tap where it says action at the top then tap create DHD then tap browse and then go to wherever you want to save this VHA 
just save it to any any folder that you want and then name the phd itself like you can type in something like windows 8 for example then tap save and then you will and then uh from from here you will need at least 20 to 30 gigabytes of memory you can tap you can choose whatever you want you can make it 50 you can make it 40 you can make it 60 gigabytes you can even make it one terabyte or two terabytes if you wanted to and make sure under virtual hard disk format it's you make sure that VHD is checked and under virtual hard disk type make sure you tap dynamically expanding then tap OK and then from down here you will see something that says unallocated space unallocated and it'll be colored black and you will see something here that says unallocated and from here you have at least two choices one you can choose to you have two choices one you can use this tool to make you can use this tool to make a uh, hold on guys from here you will need to make sure from here uh you can either choose to create the new hard drive from here or you can use the tool that i left in the video description below to create the new partition you can choose any of which and uh, I'm gonna show you first how to do it from this tool so if you want to do it from here from this management go ahead and right click on the un unallocated space and tap new simple volume and then tap next at the bottom then tap next again then choose whatever letter you want it to be then tap next then make sure that you select format this volume with the following steps and make sure under file system it's NTFS make sure under allocation unit size it's default and the volume which is basically your hard drive name it to whatever you want you can name it to Windows 8 or whatever and make sure that performer quick format is checked do not check where it says enable file and folder compression tap next tap finish and it will create your new simple volume or it will create your new hard drive but if you don't want to do it from here and you want to use the tool that I left in the video description below just go ahead and download the tool itself and install it and install it yourself through whatever you want to use and then once you're inside the tool go to your unallocated space unallocated space and right click on it and then tap create partition and name your partition or your hard drive to whatever you want i'm just going to name mine so local this and make sure that optimize for ssd is checked and make sure you create this as primary and choose whatever letter you want make sure that under file system you select ntfs make sure under cluster size it's default then tap ok and then tap apply at the top and you can choose to shut this down after the changes are applied or not but for this tutorial we're not going to do that so just tap yes and then wait for this to finish creating your new partition or your new hard drive and if you get a pop like this just tap ok and just click ok and wait for another pop up here to for when it says updating system information like that then from here you go ahead and go back to your computer and make sure that your new hard drive is there and make sure like I said that it has at least 20 to 30 gigabytes of memory of free memory and go ahead and exit out of that and from here and from here go into the link that I left in the video description below and go to the site that I use go to the site that I left in the video description below to where you're gonna download the ISO which is basically the installation file that you will use to install Windows 8 on your Lenovo G450 and from here when you get into this page you will see something at the bottom that says sign in go ahead and tap go ahead and click it and make sure you sign into your Microsoft account if you don't have one just go ahead and sign up for it and create one and then go, 
and then go ahead and sign in and go back to this page and then once you're back up at this page go to where it says register to continue then from here fill up the form like fill up whether you were fill up uh, the name of the operating system you were using before this select whatever Windows version you were using before and make sure you select 32-bit and make sure you know this is Windows 7 since this is for the G450 and make sure under primary role in your company select it to whatever your job is or if you don't have any just tap other just click other then click continue and then select whatever language you, you want and then click continue and then once you do that and then once you do that two of either two things will happen either one you will get a download link that you'll have to click for it to, to download for you to download it yourself or you will see a progress bar here at the top that will show you down that it's downloading your uh, ISO if you get a uh, download bar here at the top it will ask you where you want to save it just save it to wherever you want I suggest you save it to your desktop just to be safe or if you're using your browser just make sure you save it to wherever you need it to and then once it finishes downloading go ahead and download the other link that I left in the video description below of a tool that we're going to use called power ISO then once you're once you've done that and you've installed it and went through the whole setup for it make sure you run make sure you right click on it and make sure you run as administrator and then click yes and wait for this pop-up to finish and then click where it says continue unregistered then tap action at the top click action at the top I actually no click tools and scroll down to where it says create bootable USB drive and make sure from this part that your USB is plugged in um, yeah and then tap the folder here at the top and select and go ahead and look for the ISO that you downloaded from before and then click open and then for where it says destination USB drive make sure you select the USB that you did before and like I said before you do this make sure you backed up all your data on your USB make sure you formatted it and make sure that all your data is gone and make sure like I said that you have at least two to three gigabytes of free memory on your USB and make sure that you're, you select your right method as USB HDD then tap then click start wait for it to finish creating the image and once it does finish uh, go ahead and click close and then from here and then from here go ahead and turn off your computer turn it off and then uh, from there turn it on again and dip it and then tap and then click F12 on your laptop and make sure you select your USB and from there the setup for Windows 8 should be pretty familiar and just follow the prompts that it gives you in Windows for the whole installation Windows 8 and from there once it finishes you should get to this screen and from there that's it that's how to get Windows 8.1 on your Lenovo G450 and so far this operating system is doing pretty well it's very quick it's very smooth it's very fast and to me it's very elegant and very clean you may not like that but that's just my opinion but yeah that's it guys that's how to get Windows 8.1 on your Lenovo G450 and that is my quick look and my preview of Windows 8.1 on the Lenovo G450 now if you guys like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out and if you have any suggestions on what I should do next or if you have any problems with this process whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to be, uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons more content coming your way. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. 
I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Mr. 45 signing off.